Up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Alistair Overeem and Junior Dos Santos. So here is the two-time UFC heavyweight champion, Junior Dos Santos, mentored by the great UFC Hall of Famer, Minotauro Noguera. Sagano has really become one of the best boxers, Joe, this division has ever seen. Certainly has that takedown defense if he wants to keep the fight upright in his wheelhouse. Can fall back on the jiu-jitsu black belt if needed, but Junior Dos Santos figures to be looking to throw hands here early and often time. Junior Dos Santos is a very dangerous striker. He's got precision punches with knockout power behind him. He has been putting top-level guys to sleep since he came to the UFC. So he's coming up on 60 pro MMA fights. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Here he is, the former K-1 World Grand Prix champion, Alistair Overeem. To this point, the UFC gold has eluded him, but he continues to prove with a razor-sharp focus that he can still contend deep into this mixed martial arts career. And Joe, as far as heavyweight finishers go, I'm not sure any man has a better, more versatile resume than the Reed. Overeem is a beast. He has a ton of world-class experience, insane power in his strikes, and a wicked standing guillotine choke. He moves extremely well for a man his size, and he has a physical advantage over almost any fighter on the planet. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. The Brazilian is 34. The Brit is 37. He weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 238 pounds. Fighting out of Salvador Bahia, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Junior Sagano. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 44 wins, 17 losses, and one no contest. He stands 6 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, Alistair! All right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners. All back right, back. here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go. Yeah, there's been many phases of Alistair over his career, but I feel like he fights the most clever now. Lands a big right hand early. Hard left hand. Trying to establish that jab once again. Pretty good knee to the body by over. Yes, Dos Santos gets hit with a kick. That looked like it hurt you. Tagged him. 
lands a kick to the leg. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You got to get that head off the center line. Straight right hand now just misses. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Dos Santos gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Going for the single leg now. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. He's now working from side control again. Holding him here, moving to north-south position. He's attacking from north-south again. He's back in his side control here. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Dos Santos. Big punch from the bottom. In his side control again. Big body punch. He's moved back into side control once more. He's posturing up here. Very nice sweep, winds up in his guard. The Reed gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, that even hurts to watch. Huge kick to the body. Big straight punch. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Dos Santos. Second Wait, round, straight ahead. ahead. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Brittany Palmer in the building. Okay, round two, ready, ready. Second round here. Nice. That one hurt. Strong punch there by Overeem. Dos Santos' is lower jaw now, Joe, started to show some signs of swelling. Oh, big kick! Oh! See the total strikes. Looking to avoid that left hand. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Doing a good job timing his shots here and landing a great series of punches. Well, he eats a punch to the head there, Joe, and he would be wise to get his head off of that center line. It's almost as if he's moving straight into that punch. Caught him with a punch. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Nice. Man, look how quickly he gets that hook to the target. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Nice front kick. Well, he's really starting to land a high note. He's hurt. Big shot to the low. Oh, he's stunned. And just oh, like that, the fight is over. Out. Big elbow right on the button. For sure, Joe, there is nothing more devastating than a fight ending with an elbow strike. And it really takes great technique to deliver those shots with maximum force and do damage over a short distance. He certainly did a lot of damage here tonight. And he adds another knockout to the highlight reel. 
Let's look at that again. Check out this angle here. Smack! Look at that elbow. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Now we go inside the Octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 14 seconds of round number two. To play the winner by knockout, Chicago Well, it's as good a UFC heavyweight legacy as there is, and Junior Dos Santos adds to it here tonight. And there is the affable former champion enjoying this win with his coaches and his teammates. JDS since relocating to South Florida in fine form, and he gets his hand raised once again inside the octagon.